Hi, this is Ashlyn with Bellevue Avenue and Ashlyn May Photography and I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use our flower shrub overlays. So what you'll do is go to File, Place, and navigate to your flower shrub overlays folder. Now we have two different kind of overlays in this set. We have actual flowers that are transparent PNGs and they are high res and sharp so you can use these however you want and you can blur them out to create depth of field or keep them all in focus is up to you and what fits your image best so just for a quick example let's place this one here and obviously with the depth of field that I have here these would be blurred out so what I could do is go to filter blur and then Gaussian blur and kind of just play around with the um, how I want to blur this out. Probably actually go pretty blurry with something like this because of how you can see the foreground elements here are blurred out. Again, if you have more in focus in your picture, you could leave them um, more in focus. Okay, but what I would probably choose for this image is one of our peek throughs, which have been a favorite among customers. Um, these are super fun. They add a foreground element that gives you depth in your images. So for this image I'll choose the purple one which is peek through number nine and just file in place and then click the check mark to place it and I'm just gonna move it down a little bit and I like that a lot. It adds a lot of beautiful color and depth I also want to have a little bit of greenery up here, so I'm going to go back, File, Place, and I'm going to use number 7, but I'm going to actually flip it upside down and stretch it out real big, bring it over here, and then I want to brush off a lot of this. It's just too much green. So what I'll do is add a layer mask. So you come down here and add a layer mask. Then choose a soft black brush. And just start erasing that off. I'm going to lower my flow a little bit. Might add just a little bit back over here. So that gives just a little bit extra greenery right in there. Okay, so that's one image example. And our next one, I'm going to do similarly. I'm going to use a peek through. So file, place, and then I'm going to choose peek through number five. I'm going to move this down just a little bit so it's not covering her face and then place. And I see a little bit of a crease right there so I'll add a layer mask and then just brush that off a little bit right there. And that's all there is to it. We hope you enjoy the tutorial and that you have fun with our flower and shrub overlays.